Howdy folks, how we doing? Today, we're gonna go off plowing. First thing you probably noticed is, oh, I'm on the fast track. Now I know what you're saying. How come you're not on the fast track, George? As it broke down, why don't you stick to your own tractor? Well, the fast track hasn't broke down. And uh, to be honest, this tractor's going soon to be replaced by a new machine. Um, so basically, we're just putting a few hours on here rather than um, uh, putting hours on the machine we're keeping. We're going to put it on this machine. This machine, obviously, it's a 724, it's more than capable of ploughing. So I've got a uh, couple of days on this old girl it's all right i don't mind I quite a lot of fed she's a good tractor so uh and it is a good plowing tractor actually because i had the that new one we had on demo end of last year um yeah that was lovely that really was lovely all right uh, you see we got to the field I'll just stick the plow into work I mean, it's been uh it's seen some muck. And you've got little bits of standing water in it, but it is uh, it's a very sandy, free draining type of soil. So, uh, should be all right. Honestly, especially once we've got a furrow, we'll be all right. Oh, I reckons. In. Oh, I need a roller over now, really. It's actually quite a nice day today, but <coughs> they do give Plenty more in the way of rain, more rain, well showers this afternoon, uh, tomorrow is supposed to be wet, uh, all Easter Bank holiday is supposed to be wet, so uh, yeah just a bit miserable to say the least. in there that on there right we are ready to roll that looks like it's going alright to me Sun now, clouds bloody all come in.
some jobs now. I've done so much. So yeah, quick talk about things. There's a video on Three Wise Monkeys, a uh, new one that we've just done. So go and check that out. The link will be at the end of the vid, but get on there, subscribe, give it a like, you know, thumbs up, and leave a comment. Uh, hopefully you should find it interesting. And uh, like we've all been saying, BK Ben, uh, yeah, there's going to be some really, really good content on there, you know, throughout the year. Um, lots of different things, lots of different manufacturers coming on board to sort of, you know, with what we've got planned. So uh, it's certainly worth keeping an eye on. It's, you know, it's certainly worth keeping an eye on. So hit that subscribe button on it and you won't miss now, then, will you? So me and uh, me and Kurt, there was a play. Well, the video we was gonna do was um, gonna be at a ploughing match over at Darrantry. Me and Kurt were gonna go to and have a look at a wander around and uh, see what it was about, but uh, they cancelled it. So I don't know why they cancelled it because the weather were that bad on Sunday, it was actually not bad at all. So um, we had to sort of find something else to do. So what happened is Kurt came over and uh, we had a real good look at the TW. Now I know a lot of you like the old TW and uh, yeah we gave it a good sort of good scene to and uh, you know, Kurt had a go in it and yeah it was all about the TW in it. And then we lead on into sort of a little taste of what's coming up you know so uh go over there check it out and see what you think leave a comment tell us if you like it tell us if you don't like it so you can see what i was saying at the uh, start of the vid or a few minutes into the vid so yeah, it's only light all that you can see it now can't you uh, if this was a clay, you know, if this was heavier, sort of clay, clay soil, I wouldn't be working. Simple as, that wouldn't plough, but a nice light, light soil. Boys land is that's cool. And uh, that's plan over it as you can see. Come up the gauze work now. That's what we call it anyway, gauze work. Short work. Uh, probably another hour and I'll have done this, done the Evans. And then go on to Tutherfield then. Make a start in that. We just started spinning. I dare say we'll get some more, right? We're alright. Make a fair nice job, I reckon. Yeah, we're ploughing at uh, just over 9k. Really know about it. We're using uh, 21, 22 litres an hour. That's not bad, is it? But it is boys' land, like I did say. No intake of no pulling. I've just been having a discussion with. Uh, them other two idiots, Ben and Kurt, about uh, phones. And they are, they're in love with their, with their old iPhones. And uh, my old phone here, it's a, my, well, it's a Microsoft phone now, was a Nokia. Uh, the one before it was a Nokia. And, uh, which is why I got it, because I always like Nokia phones. Um, I was just saying to them that there's like the selfie camera, is uh, packed up on it, it's got an error code up on it. And uh, I don't take many selfies, but uh, when we're communicating with each other, we do tend to use the the selfie video function on it to, uh, to record a little video. It's easier than keep typing things anyway. So uh, 
they were giving me a hard time about uh, my old phone and uh, saying, oh, you all get an iPhone. They're brilliant. Well, are they brilliant? You want to put in the comments your thoughts on iPhones, or indeed all Apple stuff. You know, iPads, Macs. I had an, I, I had an iPad myself, and uh, it was 500 quid's worth, and it was about, well, it was about as quick as I don't know what. Um, it was rubbish bit of kit. Um, you couldn't, couldn't put a memory card in it, because uh, you got, you know, if you want a the bigger storage, you have to buy the, you know, the more, uh, an iPad with more storage in it, basically. You can't add your own storage to it in any way. So, um, and to add storage costs a lot more than it does to add storage by adding, by buying a memory card. The memory cards are cheap these days. So, uh, anyway, I got rid of the bloody iPad and got myself a uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab A, 200 quid. And it's about twice as quick. Um, like the, the iPad took forever doing it. You can press the button to, for it to do something. And um, a couple of days later, it might actually do it. And for like a 500 quid tool, it's, it was uh, crap. So, uh, hence why I went down the Samsung Gal uh, Tab A room. And uh, for 200 quid, it's twice the machine of the old uh, iPad. So, uh, I vowed never to stray near an Apple machine again. But it'd be interesting to hear your thoughts on Apple stuff. Uh, is it any good or? Or are they overpriced junk, in my opinion? Um, leave a comment. Oh, that will do. We can... Um, boss the end now. Yeah. JCB and class dealers uh, open day yesterday. Good to say, blooming wet, weren't I else to do? So I went there, they sort of split it there. A class and a JCB. They've got, they've got two sides of the business JCB side and class side. Previous years they've, um, uh, they've had it all as one, but they've got so much kit. Now they've decided to split the two for the two days and have a, like a class day and a JCB side day. So uh, yesterday was the class, we've got class, um, we've got Bunning, Samson, uh, Horse, uh, yeah lots of different stuff. Really good day actually, well we spent about three hours there and uh, no it was good. See their new uh, class's new oh yeah, Torian loader, which is uh, a Lee Bear, and indeed, well, and indeed their new tele handlers, which are Lee Bear as well. So, interesting to have a look around them. I've got some of the fast tracks there as well, because obviously the, the yard still does both. Um, but they were just sort of stock machines on, you know, they weren't really part of the display, but I uh, had a good snoop round anyway. So, no, that was good. 
next thing coming up show wise are um, there's a blue Ford working weekend uh, start of May and also start of May same week I believe is Grassman which I aim to go to both uh, to go to both of them so uh, next two things to look forward to show wise Well, so I've just got two passes left, I So I've backed it up to want to end up this end, if you know what I mean. So I've just backed it all the way back up there. We go down and then we can come back up. And then I want to do a run down that top headland. The other side is what to do this again, so we'll be done. Well, done for this field, isn't it? Well, there we go. A couple of things you have to work, uh, look out for, even, as a word of after, on Edland. First is what you just see is the depth wheel. You're getting close. Um, Plows with depth wheel on the back, like this one stick out quite a bit so it's hard to get real tight in close to the hedge or the fence you're working to uh, and you can get plows with mid mounted depth wheels so it's like the very outside of your plow is your rear furrow so you can get a lot closer on them um, the other thing to work uh, to watch out for is when you're plowing past uh, big trees um, because there is always a chance of catching a root catch a route, nine times out of ten you're going to do the shear bolt, so that's another thing to be wary of, but I said I've ploughed this last year and uh, I didn't fire in anything, and need a subsoil as well, so you know, obviously subsoil is quite a bit deeper than you are ploughing, so um, yeah, that's just things to watch out for when you're playing Edwards. Doesn't uh, look too bad, does it? Not bad for an old boy. Yeah, it looks like we're going to get fair wet now. Well, hope you enjoyed that little bit. Thanks for come and help me plough this little field and uh, yeah, be sure you check out Three Wise Monkeys check out the link in the description which will either be there, there, there or it could even be down there uh, on, the, on the screen and uh, yeah, subscribe, like and I'll see you on the next one, ta-ta!